Now let's update you on what happened with the Grammy Awards, the 65th annual Grammy Awards right here on CBS 8, and there's a lot to talk about. Entertainment Tonight hosts Kevin Frazier, Nichelle Turner joining us live to help us break it all down. Boy, where do we begin? First of all, it was a four-hour show. How are you guys going to do this in just a few minutes? Wow, there's so That's many shows question. within the show. Good question, because we got a half hour to wrap this all up tonight, and it was an embarrassment of riches. Such a good show. Yeah, the yeah. first show back, you know, that wasn't within, like, COVID category. Categories and, it, and during the pandemic. So the first show where people could just be and were yeah, there and yeah. mm -hmm. the big stars were back in the building and there were huge moments. History was made, of course, starting with Queen Bee herself. Or her story Thank last you. night in a <laughs> yeah. lot of categories, yes. Yeah, she became the Grammy's most decorated artist with 32 wins now and she was so grateful after she won. Here's the Queen. Breaking the record for the most Grammy wins of all time. It's Renaissance, Beyonce. Thank you so much. I'm trying not to be too emotional. I'd like to thank my beautiful husband. My beautiful three children. God bless you. Thank you so much. Mm. Now, a little bit of controversy here because Beyonce has won now 32 Grammys, but just one of them has come in one of the four major categories. That has the beehive buzzing. I think a lot of folks thought that she would win one of those categories, mm. especially album of the year. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, she released like two new remixes to Cuff It on the, you know, the day of the Grammys. This, this record was a dance record, but it was also about female empowerment in so many ways. Yeah. So widely received, well received, critically acclaimed. And I think that this was a moment for her, and it was a, a missed moment for the Grammys to, to recognize that. And no disrespect to Harry Styles. No, we love oh, Harry. I was going to say. Him. We love him. Yes, absolutely. I was Wait dancing on. when he was on stage. Yeah. I was... He was yeah. having a good time. No, it's not there. the same <laughs> as it was. <laughs> <laughs> um, can we also talk about the salute to hip hop? It oh, was yes. awesome. Yes. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. And um, seeing all these stars walking the carpet, all these guys who, you know, hip hop has had a very mixed relationship with the Grammy yeah, not over so great. the year. Yeah, not, not um, so great for Nelly a long time. was so much fun, but <laughs> secrets. We learned secrets talking to folks, and you talked to Quest Love, yeah, and he Quest, told you an amazing yeah, so secret. Yeah, so Quest Love curated this whole tribute, guys, and he told me in the beginning, when he first put it together, it was 27 minutes long. <laughs> Wow. And then, yeah, and the Grammys producers were like, yo, yeah, Quest, can we trim no. that back? Yeah. I, right. I can say it. I can could have had a little more. Bit. I did not so mind. He, yeah. <laughs> I, I, me, same here. Yeah. I would have loved to see all 27 minutes yeah. of it, but he had to cut it down to 14 okay. minutes. Okay. So some people had to go. And I asked him, I said, listen, I noticed that DJ Jazzy Jeff was on the bill. Does that mean we'll see Will Smith yeah, as well? Right. Will the Fresh Prince show up? And he told me that Will Smith was 99.4% in uh -huh. for the tribute. But he started shooting Bad Boys 4 with Martin Lawrence oh, this week, yeah, sure. and he could not make rehearsal, so they had to cut him wow. out of the tribute. But that would have been a very interesting moment to see Will Smith back on mm -hmm. a big stage, a big award show stage, uh, doing a tribute to hip hop. Mm -hmm. What was the uh, performance for you guys that was uh, the big show stealer? I know it hurt. Oh, well, mine was uh, Chris Stapleton, Smokey Robinson, oh, and yeah. Stevie Wonder. Yeah. It was fantastic. <laughs> I just thought that, first of all, Smokey Robinson's 82 years old, uh, and tell. he still commands the stage. Yeah, he does. Yeah, and then you had the, the meld of Stevie Wonder and Chris Stapleton's voices together and the jam session they yeah, had on cool. that stage together. To me, that's what the Grammys is all about. Mm -hmm. And I just thought it was fantastic. I mean, look at Queen Latifah there, right? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Everybody was up dancing, <laughs> like just jamming and having a great time. Yeah. It was a night where a, where people had fun watching Shania Twain hang out with Taylor Swift, and yeah. they were just talking and kiki and having Lizzo a great time. Lizzo and Adele being yes. girlfriends yeah. to the max. It was so yeah. much fun to see the stars kind of geeking out and having fun with each other. All those genres just kind of melted into one right. there. They did. And, and that's nice. the Everyone's beauty enjoying of the night. and appreciating each other's talents. Totally. Taylor Swift looked like she was an attendant at a party. <laughs> and she's, she's a vibe. Back and she's a party. If Taylor Always. Swift is not up dancing like <laughs> nobody's watching, then you have a terrible show. Yeah. <laughs> is the barometer on whether right. or not you have a good show and she was up all night yeah, she's so rep she in, yeah it was a great night it really was a great night and trevor noah was fantastic <laughs> i thought that he you know once again knocked it out of the park and he is the perfect host for this you know 
I, I have to say, the Grammys have done a great job of finding great yes. hosts, from LL to James Corden and now Trevor <laughs> Noah. They haven't missed a beat. Absolutely, and I thought the lineup was really great. They had Bad Bunny opening the yes. show. Yeah. And he is, I mean, come on, Electric. it's Bad Ooh. Bunny. That's all you have to say. Right. And then they had uh, God Did closing the show. So they had Jay-Z and DJ Khaled yeah. and Rick Ross and Lil Wayne closing the show. Yes. Eight minutes long that performance was, and it was spectacular. It was like a mafioso godfather scene. They shut down the streets of LA and they just went to town. We saw Jay-Z take the mic and he flowed for about five minutes Unreal. straight. It was beautiful. If you guys get a chance to speak one-on-one -on -one with LL Cool J, yes. can you please oh, yeah. ask me how he has stayed the same the abs. He's for the decades. Goat. It's an eight pack, yeah. man. He's the goat. I don't know what yeah. contract he signed, on. but that man gets younger. Yes, yeah, exactly. I don't know, yeah. And Benjamin he has Button new thing. music coming mm -hmm. that is so exciting. Yeah. I mean, Q Tip is producing his new oh, album, okay. oh, and good. the two of them to together, oh. it's going Michelle, to be. Michelle, Kevin, we got to run moment. here, but thanks for chatting with us. Yeah. We appreciate it. We, Absolutely. We, we look forward to you guys getting the exclusive inside tour of the 32 <laughs> awards inside Beyonce's office. We want to see how she stacks. She keeps all those, all those well, and, and don't forget Jay Z's, Z's too. too. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Jay -Z's all. Right. They need a giant room for all that. Yeah, we we'll look forward to that. Always <laughs> so appreciate your time, you. guys. Thank you. Great talking to you. All right.